Welcome back everyone to Final Fantasy XIV. We are now in the botanist dance. And two of the three gatherers have hit 50. So let's go ahead and do the 50 quests. Seeds of Hope. Uh, Fuchecha, the botanist guild, has reached a most difficult decision. Look at this. Options, options, options. What is this? Cutter's hat, slopes, gloves, botanist work boots. How can I make that? I don't even know. Let me look it up. Work boots. Let's see, is there a way to get the botanist work boots? Acquisition reward from quests. Okay. Quest Seeds of Hope. Recipe from a leather worker. Oh, oh, so you can make this stuff. Awesome. So I might have to make this stuff later. Forgive me if I seem a bit distanced the last time we spoke, Tickman. Allow me to get straight to the point. I have not come to this decision easily, but I have come to it all the same. As of today, I have resigned from the Botanist Guild. Our battle with the Laxley rages on, and there are rumblings from the Empire as well. With each passing day, more people die, the soil is stained deeper with blood, and the Twelve Woods weeps. Meanwhile, I feel orders for the war effort, and for what purpose? The more Laxley may suffer and die than Grenadians? No. If this is what it means to be a botanist in this day and age. I want no more part of it. Any, my novice bless her dearest heart, tried her best to convince me to stay. Still, I fear my heart is settled. Mind you, this decision is mine alone. I would pass no judgment on those who find meaning in their efforts here. Should you wish to continue to serve the guild, I am sure your main will have suitable tasks for you. Farewell, tick men, and may the Twelve's Woods ever shelter you. Alright, well, no use talking to you anymore. Get out of here. You're all washed up in the rain. Yanny, you're the big woman on campus now? Taller than me. Oh, tick man, so glad you're here. You spoke uh, to Fuchi, yes? It absolutely breaks my heart to see what's become of my old friend. Fufu Cha and I have known each other since we were both knee-high to a funglar. And I assure you, her knowledge and passion for the flora of this realm is second to none. The guild would be absolutely lost without her guidance. Of course, I understand her worries. These are not easy times for a true seeker of peace and a friend to nature. And yet, I cannot help but feel that her emotions could or cloud her better judgment, as she is not seeing the forest for the trees, if you will. Fufucha has convinced herself that she is doing more harm than good to the natural world she hopes to love. Preposterous. Has she forgotten the countless trees she planted after the calamity, journeying far and wide to return lush Verdu to our sheltered realm. Someone must remind her of all she has accomplished and the work that is still left to be done. To that end, I have made contact with one of Fucha's former apprentices, a botanist by the name of Rulliton, who now tends to a forest that Fucha herself led the planting of many years ago. My words, as a friend, will not reach Fuchi now. Only a fellow botanist who understands the depths of her worries can heal her, the wounds in her heart. I beg of you, Tickman, speak with this Rotelian and seek his counsel. Rotelian tends to the forest surrounding the Timberlord's Large in the central highlands of Corthius. Please go quickly. 
with Trichard leaves our guild behind, I feel that she shall never return. Alright, so now we need to go speak with Rolian at Timber's Lodge. He's in Cothelius. Let's go ahead and teleport to the camp Dragonheart and get in our Chukabu and ride on down. Ooh, lots of quests here for me to do. Another day, though. Ooh, and I gotta figure out the scrolls, too. We'll do that tomorrow. I've got four scrolls I bought. Look at this. This is where I got the mining stuff at. At like 1 a.m. in the morning or something. And this is also where I got the trees at for this quest. At like 6 a.m. So we can turn on Truth of Forest and unable to locate anything. So maybe at 6 a.m. something will pop up and we'll go get it. There he is. Oh, see his breath? Look at that. Oh, that's pretty cool. Well, Matic man, Yanni told me to expect you. I'm Rolton, a humble botanist, playing his trade in these bleak lands. Botany is not simply my livelihood. I consider it my true calling. A calling I would never have discovered were it not for Fuchichi's guidance. Needless to say, I was devastated to hear the news. All hope is not lost, however, as I have hit upon an idea. Tell me, Tickman, are you familiar with the spruce tree? I do not blame you, if you are not, as it is a rare sight these days, as Fuchicha would tell it. In the years before the calamity, the vast forest of spruce would stretch for many realms, mounds and mounds. What spruce trees you see today are the result of Fuchicha's effort to bring the floor of ages past back to Azora, perhaps seeing that her work has borne fruit will convince her not to abandon her life as a botanist. Knowing Fatucha as I do, the gentle world means the most to her. If your spruce were harvested by hand, as I purchased close to her heart, your hand, sick man. Before you set off, before war, and spruce is still rare to these parts, and not easily discerned. Only one with knowledge truth of forest could hope to identify such trees. And then, only after straining the eyes from the break of dawn. If your eyes are true, friend, you will come upon a mature tree unlike any you have seen before. Harvest from them three spruce logs and bring them back to me. Use the truth of forest technique to identify unspoiled mature trees that appear in Cthulhu's Highlands at 9 a.m. is your time to harvest. So yeah, it's 6.30. We got some time. But you've already harvested them. Should you have difficulty locating the spruce trees, remember, only one with the knowledge of truth of the forest can see them. And only after waiting from dawn till sundown. If your eyes are true, friend, you will come upon your trees unlike any you have seen before. Did you follow all that, Tickman? Very well. Gather three spruce logs and bring them back here to me. And I actually got 15 of them. Because you never know when you're going to need some. Remarkable gathering, Tickman. I see that Fufucha has trained you well. I had a mind to deliver them to future straight away, but I just received some troubling news. You have heard that we here in Coterius are locked in war with the dragon, have you not? A recent dragon raid has left many soldiers and settlers without shelter. A carpenter in the area is doing all he can to construct new lodging, but lumber is, is painfully short supply. 
I share your concerns for Fachicha, but I'm sure you agree that our first priority is botanist is to help those in need. Why, Fachicha herself taught me as much. Please, tech man, seek out the carpenter and deliver to him some spruce logs that the people of Corthius need suffer without a roof over their heads for no longer. All right, so I need to find the troubled carpenter. Okay, he's around here somewhere. Oh, he must be in the building. Oh, that's a steep drop off right there. There's a trouble carpenter down there too. Oh, hello everybody. No, I don't want you. Sees a hope. He's way down there. Okay, found him. Come on, Chuchaboo. We're off. 36, 36. Yeah, we gotta do some quests. It's been a while. Working on all these gathering and crafting stuff. What is my uh, bard at? 47. Almost 50. Troubled Carpenter. There we go. Oh. Let's lock it down. Hello, Mr. Carpenter. What you got for me? Yes. On the off chance that you're either blind or stupid, I'm a busy man. Busy doing what, you say? Searching for lumber. That's what. We've no end of houses that need rebuilt after being smashed to bits by those damn dragons. Sounds like y'all need to build better houses. Or underground or something. Or haven't you noticed that there's a war going on here? Look, I don't mean to be rude, but I've no time for chit-chat. Take a look around. These ain't hospitable lands without shelter. People will die. Damn it all. Is there not a single sturdy log left in all the highlands? Why, that is. I've never seen one like this. Where in the name of the twelve did you find this? To think that lumber of this quality could be found in these lands? Why, I'll not forget this kindness, friend. Those trees will save lives. Those trees will save lives? Uh-oh, here's what you choo You bet they will, little missy. Or speaking of which, whom do I have the pleasure of addressing? Look at that little axe with the feathers. My name matters not. I'm just a humble botanist and nothing more. I'll bid you speak to my colleague, Rotillion, at the Timber's Lord's Lodge. He will see that you never want for lumber. I don't know who you are, miss, but I'm glad we met. The gods are truly watching over us today. I don't see how them three logs are going to build a house, but... Go with it. Magic logs. Shall we go for a walk, Tick Man? Can I have that axe? On your back? Must be good. Your guild master. When Yanni suggested I travel to Cornelius, I had not the slightest idea what she had in mind. The moment I laid eyes on this forest, I remembered. This was your intent, was it not, Tick Man? You, Yanni, and Rolatin? 
your gentle concern for my flattering heart is not lost to me, nor is the meaning of this forest. The trees themselves speak volumes. The seeds, the art of botany, the love and reverence for nature that we brought to Isengard have taken root in the land, in the hearts of the people, and growing strong, strong indeed. As strong as the majestic spruces that once more grace these snow-swept highlands. The spruce that will now provide shelter and comfort to those who have been ravaged by war. Like the twelves would, this forest has suffered greatly in these times of strife. And yet, this forest has strength. A strength that has harbored since time immortal, and one it shares with us. A strength that goes beyond logs we harvest, or the herbs we gather. I must never forget the lessons I have learned here today. On the contrary, I must share what I have discovered here, that hope may take root again in the hearts of our countrymen. Is that little green leaf? Let us return to Gradenia, Tickman. The twelve wood is calling us home. Oh, it is nine o'clock. You know what that means. Let's go get that special wood. And then see it show it on the map over there. Level 50, Unspoiled Mature Tree. So we'll grab that up before we go back. Oh yeah. Maybe we'll get some more logs. I don't need... No. What is good to get is the good question. And it's going to be way up here, isn't it? Come on. Does it show it on the map? It does not, so it could be way, way up there. So I have to go through the town to get to it. Oh, jump, jump. Maybe we'll try this way. Look at them. Oh, that looks like it's cold. I feel like this tree is in a different spot every time on the map. Because I do not believe it was here last time. I thought it was like down here last time, or here. But either way, we're here. Um, dark matter cluster. I don't care about that. So let's do let's harvest. Here we go. Get them logs. Done. All right. So let's head on back to the black shroud. And talk to the botanist, Fuchichina. Because remember, it's calling us home. So y'all seen how to gather the wood as well. So it was a good day. Getting this off the net, where we go on botanist.
Do you hear, Tick Man? The leaves whispering to us, welcoming us home. To think that I almost turn my back on them forever. The battle rages on, and the forest will not go unscathed. Gordani and Laxio hack away at innocent branches and uproot flowers and shrubs for their own self-seeking causes. The sadness, the powerlessness is at times too great to bear, and yet if we were to walk away, who would tend to the wounded forest in my stead? There's only so much that a lone botanist can accomplish, and yet every seed that is planted, every tree that takes root, brings us one step closer to a future where we live in harmony with the forest. In my plain and in my pain and frustration, my eyes have been blinded to this truth. Thanks to you, Yanni and Rolitin, I see again. Rest easy, Tick Man. I remain here at the greenery. How could I not? The forest needs every friend it can muster in these dark times. And it would seem I still have much to learn. I would be honored to continue to walk the path of the botanist with you. Not as guildmaster and apprentice, but as peers, fellow shepherds of the forest. Be you ever safe in your travels. And there we go. Uh, 56. Ooh. I don't know what to get. Gathering. Plus three. Right there. Get in the boots. This concludes the botanist quest for Final Fantasy XIV Realm Reborn. In order to undertake the next series of quests, you must first meet the following requirements. You must have completed the main scenario quest before the dawn, which I have not. Once you have done so, the next botanist quest will be available from Fuchana. Awesome sauce. Alright, well thanks for joining me. That was the botanist level 50 quest. And when we come back, we're going to probably do blacksmithing. we got a couple quests to do there, so we'll hit them up. So until then, y'all take care.